Buhari several times. He was also head of state between 1983 and 85. He holds single-handedly the unique distinction of being the only person who has led this country into an economic recession twice. So when we say these things, we need to put them in perspective. We need to put them in perspective. And the perspective that must be seen, that must be drawn from this whole conclusion is the inability to chart a forward-looking course. As important as our past is, the reality of it is that and our past is, is a certain fact that you cannot run away from that the PDP handed over to the APC in 2015 a much better Nigeria than the PDP received from the military, a military in which President Muhammadu Buhari was a significant you factor. Know, you know, between um, 19, uh, Mr. Noja, we can't take these things away. Oh, we can't take them away, Mr. Noja, but we can also take it away from the fact that Nigerians are also looking at good governance. They're also looking it's at credible factor. people that will provide them critical service. Factor. They're looking at people who will come in and serve them, not to serve for their own self-aggrandizement. So the question about qualification comes in here. Who's the most qualified person to lead this country? If we're going by the Constitution, the qualification for each person, for anyone that's going to occupy any public office. Um, when you say qualification, just so before I answer, I know how to put this in. In. Your part is demanding that the president needs to show his credentials. Is that the most important thing right now? Is it that is what is needed thing. to serve it is an the people? Thing. It is an important thing. It is an important thing. Um, I will, going forward, I will desist a little bit from this back and forth with the representatives of the BMO. The, an election is a referendum on the incumbent, first and foremost. We must, first of all, establish qualification, um, ability, capacity, or the lack thereof of the incumbent. Because before we begin to question any other thing, there's this attempt by the BMO to put the focus on other people. But let's come back here very quickly. President Muhammadu Buhari is a retired major general, spent several years in the army, supposedly has quite a number of medals and awards for his service in the army. The question is, did he get into the army validly? When the PDP asks that, we need to see what the qualifications of the president are. Two underlying factors that need to be addressed. One, the requirement for getting into the Nigerian Military Training College in 1961, 62, 63 was that you needed to have passed, the, you needed to have attained the qualification, the certification from secondary school. President Muhammad Buhari has been unable to show that at the time he got into the military, that he had that certification. So in the absence, I mean, I think in, 19, in 2015, when this debate raged, they, there was uh, a release of certain things, one of which was a letter from the principal of his school to the Nigerian Military Training College that said, he will provide his certification. That ought to have been followed up with a certification. It never showed up. So here we are, where the foundation of his entire military career is missing. We cannot see it. We cannot, he cannot provide it. If it exists, provide it. Resolve the issue. Move on. He's unable but, to do so. But how is it One, that that is most important? Is, is that the most is, important it thing is, to it service? Is, it is, it is, it is important if you went to a university right in this country in year four you do in your fourth year you have a what you call it you do a clearance where you have to provide your certificates and if it is proven that you can't provide your certificates from secondary school you get expelled in, in in our current university system i know people who have suffered that fate in law school you have to provide certification if you haven't been able to provide any of those certifications, you get expelled. I know, I went through the process. If you go and apply for a job and you come with, I have a certificate, and you've been on the job for 10 years, if Channels TV finds out that you don't have the certificates that you claim to have provided, you, get, you, get, you lose your job. Now, the question is, is President Muhammad Buhari's entire military career founded on a lie? Question. One, 
Two, the second thing. Real quick. Section, real quick. Section 30, 30, section 32, I think, subsection 5 of the, of the Electoral Act says that we can, anybody who has a problem with, who can prove that you invalidated and, or, or that any of the information that you provided in your affidavits, because your INEC forms are taken in an affidavit system, now, anybody who can prove that can go to a court to get you disqualified from the election. Section 8 of that, sub, um, sec, so, subsection 8 of that section says that if you provide any false information, you have committed a crime, your political party will be liable to pay a fine okay. upon your disqualification. All now, right. the we, issue we, is We this. really need to hang it in there. We'll take a moment and we'll come back to continue the conversation. Please don't go away.